of my followers. I'm Emmanuel Perez Arias. I'm a sophomore psychology student. I'm from Fayetteville, North Carolina, and I'm the trombone section leader this year. Morning. Um, it's 9:40. I got class in about an hour, so I'm about to make myself some breakfast. Start off strong, so I can have a good day. Why did you choose North Carolina A&T? I had a lot of influence to come here to and. And Kat, um, my band director marched for the school and he studied here too. And my high school principal also came to NCAT. And I also like the, um, the vibe of the school. A day in the life for me usually is pretty chill. I wake up in the morning, probably get something to eat. I usually always eat in the morning. And then just sit down, probably catch up on some homework that I got to do before going to class. So I start class at 11 every day. So it gives me enough time in the morning to get myself situated. After that, if I don't got anything to do, I'll usually just chill and play video games. Or um, brainstorm some ideas for videos and stuff that me and my brother make on the side, on Instagram and stuff. It's pretty fun. How is it as a psychology major? It's pretty fun. Um, I've always been interested in how the brain works, especially throughout junior and senior year. Um, I was interested in law, actually. I was conflicted between psychology and law. And one day, somebody came to school and talked about forensic psychology. And it's basically like the best of both worlds, a combination of law, you know, criminal justice and psychology. And I looked into it a lot more and I fell in love with it. So that's why I'm studying that. Just left my house, um, about to head to my first class of the day, criminal justice, one of my favorite classes. Um, I'm going to catch the shuttle to class because it's in Gibbs all the way across campus. And I stay in Campus Evolution. That's that. I'm not walking all the way over there. <laughs> Tell us a bit about your heritage. My heritage. Well, I'm Puerto Rican and Dominican. Puerto Rican from my dad's side and Dominican from my mom's side. Hey, good morning. Welcome to the park and the ride. Hope you have a pleasant ride with us. Good morning, Emmanuel. Hey, um, I grew up, well, I was born in Puerto Rico, and I, leave, I left the island when I was five, moved to the United States, Alaska, and then that's where I learned how to speak English. I, English isn't my first language. Um, just now getting here to Gibbs Hall, and it really just takes one person to make everybody's day. Like that bus driver always cheers me up in the morning, gets me ready for the rest of the day. You. Gotta learn to appreciate the little things. You spent a bit of time in Hawaii. Can you tell us about the musical culture there? Musical culture, there's a lot of diversity with music over there. It's really interesting. Um, most of what I was involved in was a classical music setting, which is why I love, you know, concert band, concert season. Um, but it's very competitive over there. Band is definitely really competitive in Hawaii, especially marching band. Everything's score style over there, so I didn't really get into high step until I came here in North Carolina. How you doing? Oh, look at the twins! The twins, where are you headed? Um, I have to go to study hall. You have to go to study hall, that's yeah. what's up. Oh, yeah, what about I'm you? I'm going to class, yeah. What are you playing? <laughs> what are you playing? Trombone. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, I did not know that. <laughs> wow. Transition in Hawaii to join the band at E. Smith. How was that transition? Oh, man. 
it was crazy, honestly. Um, I marched, like I said, I marched core style for two years in Hawaii. Then when I moved to North Carolina, I decided to join the band second semester of high school year and my, my sophomore year. And I didn't learn how to march high step until the day of a jamboree. I learned how to high step within like five minutes. They're like, just lift your knees and move your arms and just do what we do. So it was a big transition, definitely. What's up, y'all? Hello. What's up, bro? How you doing? Oh, that's the day. That's the day. I should have like... sent the text, bro. Yeah. I got stuff on my nose, man. <laughs> <laughs> like right, What's up? What's up, y'all? And I knew whose voice it was, of course, but it was like. Hello. E.E. E. Smith to the BGMM. How was that? Well, like I said earlier, my band director came from NCAT. He was a drum major here, marched here. Um, so he instilled a lot of that older a and discipline into our high school program. So I came here with a specific mindset of how things should be ran and discipline and everything. So the change wasn't huge. It was actually a little bit easier coming to college and marching for the BGMM in certain aspects. Looking into my Spanish class. People are staring at me because I got a camera in front of my face. But my friend Tamara is in this class with me. Say hello, Tamara. Hi, guys. <laughs> Why'd your voice drop or not? <laughs> hey guys. Hey guys. <laughs> your father served in the military and was injured in the line of duty. How did you balance school while attending to your family? It was a little bit difficult at the time because he was in Syria, and then he got sent up to Germany, and then Iraq, and then back to the United States. So I had to constantly keep driving up and down from Greensboro to Fayetteville to help out um, at home with my parents and everything. So it was a little bit difficult, but I mean, I'm still here. So I managed it, you know. Okay. So I just left, um, we just left Spanish. Spanish. Um, so I'm, I'm all done with classes for the day. So I'm just gonna go home and chill. Probably eat before practice. I think we just got a meeting today or something at four. So, yeah. See you later. Incoming freshman to sophomore section leader. How are you feeling this role? How am I feeling it? Feeling it. Feeling it. Um, I feel like thus far, I'm doing pretty all right. Quick comment. I know a lot of people complain about not being able to see a conductor um, when we're in the stands because we have, you know, the director at the bottom and then five drum majors and then two of them are on the side and then one's directly behind me. So I was wondering if there could be like, like rearrange them maybe or have them in the middle how it was last year or do something so everybody could see because I know a lot of people are having difficulty like like standing there, like looking for a drum major, look for the count off or, or something. The trophies can't see what's going on. It is a, a, it's a change, you know, from being a, a freshman to a, like having a position of leadership within the band. It's definitely a little bit of a, of a flip, you know, but I feel like I'm doing pretty all right so far with all my freshmen. So, 
I'm really trying to promote um, retention to keep and have a lot of the members that are marching this year come back next year. So although I am trying to have some form of discipline since I am, you know, the section leader, I'm still trying to have some sort of family connection with them. Um, so I, I think I think we get along pretty good. Yeah. Play the melody or the harmony with that melody. Play it. One, two. band everything else well I feel like now it's a little bit easier for me to balance everything since I know how band the schedule for band works um, I scheduled all my classes I don't have any classes before 11 a.m. every single day so I can I have enough time to wake up in the morning do what I have to do get my homework done get caught up get ahead if I can and then you know just go to class and do what I have to do. But in, in the way we talk about them. Hey, can, I, can you give me like 10 of your followers? Like, Ten of my followers? Yeah, I just want to see what they were doing. Yeah. I mean, I don't got a following on Twitter. I'm kind of on the DL on Twitter. <laughs> on Instagram, though. <laughs> You're kind of a big deal on Instagram. How do you do that? <laughs> a big deal? Um... So me and my friend, I call him my brother, his name's Trevor. I've known him since freshman year of high school. Me and him, we kind of just clicked one day and he asked me like, hey, do you want to run a meme page together? I was like, sure. Started off on some other application called iFunny. Page was called Spoon. And then we progressed further on and then ended up changing over to another page called Hand Eyes which after our sub count started, you know, being kind of stagnant, we hopped on over to Instagram. And it's just original content. A lot of people like the satire, original content type of humor that we have. So, you know, it's helped. <laughs> So there's people that old trombone members talk about all the time, like, oh yeah, this person and that person, and oh, they were, they were loud, they could crank up, this, that, and the such. I want to have like that sort of impact. I want to be like, oh yeah, he got us back to where we want to be, you know? You know, a couple years time, people will be like, oh yeah, Manny. Used to crank up, he was trombone section leader, this, that, and such. So that'd be pretty cool. I mean, I don't want it, but it'd be cool. I don't need it, you know, but it'd be cool to have. <laughs> 